Good afternoon, uh, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, Malacanang Palace for the uh, oath taking of uh, the uh, uh, newly uh, promoted general officers. Uh, please take your seats, except for those who will take their oath. Uh, those who will take their oath, please uh, rise, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I, your name. Having been promoted to the rank of your rank, that do hereby solemnly swear that I will well and faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties of my present position and of all others I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will obey the laws, legal orders and decrees promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines, and that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President, and congratulations to the generals and flag officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. At this juncture, to deliver his message, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, please take your seats. Uh, I would like to, to greet on this occasion, of course, our uh, Secretary of National Defense, Secretary uh, Gilbert uh, Chidoro, the other cabinet members present, the Armed Forces of the Philippines um, Chief of Staff, General Romeo Browner, and the major service commanders present here with us. The, of course, the newly promoted general and flag officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and once again, welcome to Malacanang. I, congratula I congratulate you all for a promotion that I know is well deserved, the fitting reward for a career and a life dedicated to public service. It is a recognition that is built on merit, as all professional advancements in the armed services should be. It is also based on competence, pursuant to the time-honored tradition that the only way to step up in ranks is to step up with your work. From the day you get your first commission, Many decades ago, you have since given your best, making sure every assignment is one rung up the ladder in terms of, of course, your rank, but more importantly, in terms of the quality of the service and the work and the mission that you are complying with. But you have not yet reached the summit of your career. Your new rank, however, does not send you out to your last patrol. There is much still left to do, missions to accomplish, service to be selfishly rendered to the people that we have all sworn to protect with our lives. If any, the stars on your shoulder do not just indicate rank, but the reminders of the responsibilities, added responsibilities that you now have to carry on those shoulders. The more stars there are, the heavier the responsibility. Be mindful always of the weight that that carries. After all, the load that you feel are, in fact, our people's hopes. Especially now that we are at the juncture of our history where our nation faces complex security challenges, the response to which requires bold thinking, brave action, which I know you can supply in abundant amounts as befits your rank and you can summon from your previous experience. This is the landscape that confronts you now. It is the security terrain that you have to address in the remaining tours of duty of your career. 
as senior officers in our armed services. May the stars conferred upon you serve as an inspiration in performing your duties with utmost dedication, professionalism, integrity, all worthy of emulation. Be a boot on the ground or be among them and still command from the front. I know that until the last hour of your last day in office, you will do your work that honors our oath, respects our uniform, earns the admiration of our peers, and affirms the prestige that you have earned through a lifetime of service. That you will uphold the principles that made you patriots, professionals, always compliant with command, faithful to our constitution, loyal to our country, and mindful of our conscience. Malaki ang inyong katungkulan na gagampanin pa, mabigat pa ang mga gawaing nag-aantay sa inyo. Marami pa tayong misyon na harapin at higit sa lahat, malaki ang inaasahan sa inyo ng sambayanan ng at, na ating pinaglilingkuran at ng republika na ating pinagtatanggol at minamahal. Huwag natin silang biguin. Yan ang kapalit ng bago ninyong rangko. Yan ang sukli sa kanilang pananalig sa inyo. Mabuhay ang AFP, mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas, at muli, congratulations sa ating mga bagong promote na general officers and flag officers. Thank you and good afternoon.